Hello. Hello. Oh, you sneaky bastard. Welcome to Game Over Gherkin Man. This is Gherkin Man. And this is Game Over Gherkin Man. This is Conquer Lava Reloaded. It's part five. Already we're halfway through the game. Breaks my heart. No, it doesn't. This game was a chore to get through. We have three people with us this week. Kindly introduce yourselves in alphabetical order because we haven't done that in a while. Oh, Do I go by my screen name, my last name, my first name? <laughs> that's that's up. To, that's up to you, buddy. That's you up to you. Okay. Yeah, you just go first now. You fucking ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, my name's Adam. Cool one, man. I make ROM hacks. I make games, and I'm a huge rare fan, of course. Yeah, I'm the same here. I like rare. Rare's awesome. Um, I am Blordo, I do animations, and I'm a quite nice, humble dude. How's it going? <laughs> hey everybody, it's Namir. Don't fucking interrupt me during my introduction, you douchebag. I will not. Who did that? <laughs> yeah, I, did. I was just laughing, so. Uh, anyway, hi guys, it's Namir, or just I'm a Let's Player. Kind of voice actor. He's there we go. So we're here. We're going heading on to Bat's Tower. We got. I, I thought this week we should talk about something we haven't really talked about yet, at all, which is weird considering. Catfish. No, not catfish or dogfish oh. for that matter. It's the comedy in the game. Somehow we've gone five. Ep we've gone four episodes without bringing up the actual sense of humor and the uh, jokes and the comedies the and things. We had all the poop and the poo. That's the true. Poop, poop, we poop. did have a lot of poo, and there was more poo on the way, but. <laughs> In general, we haven't really talked much about the, um... Well, like, we've talked a lot about its history and things like that, but we haven't really talked that much about the game itself or the comedy therein. Although, mm. I guess... Like, even though even though only two of us have actually played through the game and finished it, everyone's seen plenty of cutscenes from this game, yeah? Yeah, yeah sort of. And if you haven't, you kind should. Of. Yeah, everyone's at the very least seen the, the, the Sloprano. I know everyone on the internet's seen that. Yeah, that has the most views out of every Conquer video on YouTube, I think. I think that's the bit that everyone remembers. That was certainly a bit like the first time I ever saw Conquer's bad fur day for the 64. It was uh, there was a magazine over here in Australia. Uh, Sean might remember this called Hyper Magazine. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, and they used to come along with like discs with videos and demo and game PC game demos on them. And um, I remember getting one issue of that, and on the DVD it had a few. I had a preview of the Dracula, the, the spooky part, the cutscene with Dracula. It had the uh, first part of the Slop Rhino song on it. And it had the Matrix parody from the end of the game, which seems like a pretty... You wouldn't show the end of the game on, like, a demo nowadays. But back mm. then, mm. spoilers as a word didn't really exist yet. Well, I don't uh, think people would know what the ending was, would they? What are you doing? Uh, my swimming controls kept reversing while I was swimming because because Xbox oh, 360 yeah, emulation. That. Yeah, you got caught was... in the rip. There's no, it's there. just like I'd be swimming and all of a sudden I'd dip underwater and the controls would be backwards for a second. Oh, uh, what the and fuck? It was, that kept happening. Like, all of a sudden it just Weird. dip underwater. Yeah, it was very strange. Um, personally, I don't know. Some Playing through it so recently, uh, some of the comedy holds up quite well particularly the the jokes that come out of um like making fun of the fact that it is a game and some of the sexual mm -hmm. jokes there's one coming up here in this sequence actually which oh is... here comes one of my favorite characters in conquer oh is it is it is it mr, mr. angry cog or the happy cog the happy cog doesn't talk just the... yes he does the, oh, the, the, i thought the... you were talking about the big one with the face no what was the big one's name uh, well, it'll tell us. I, Mr. Big Cog. That's <laughs> Mr. Big Cog. <laughs> I wonder what they named that after. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's there's some beautiful gags in this section that are just like how they got them past it. Either like Nintendo or Japan just didn't get it. Yeah, we don't really see many M-rated Nintendo games, do you? And certainly not to this level. But um, there's one joke in particular in this sequence, uh, which if I need to point it out, then fucking we have been desensitized. But every when I was playing through it again, and I and I and it happened, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> really? That's it. They got that in the in the game. Is that when you get your first cog? That yeah. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's so... It's so just like, oh my... Actually, this platforming is like the worst fucking thing ever. This is actually... When I bought the game originally for the... Uh, when I got my Xbox 360, uh, this is the sequence that made me stop playing the game and not touch it again for six or seven years. And Whoa. great, they have enemies up there now, too. Yeah. Well, the frog things, I don't know what to call them. Gob goblins, trolls, Imps, whatever they are. They're kind of like the trolls from uh, Cameo, which I guess would have been in... Oh god, Cameo's development, we'll get into that another time. Well, there's a theory that all Rare games take place in the same universe. Really? That's the a theory? The same fictional universe. Even Perfect Dark? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean... Not many people care about it. I've just seen it on rare forums and stuff. Posted a few times. I I I'd have to disagree. Just because you put big eyes on something doesn't make it all in the one universe. No, I like Banjo Kazooie Cocker take place in the same universe. There's several hints between both games about oh. that. That isn't just rare poking fun at itself. Well, yeah, they're making references, but then that makes it so you know. They but they'll develop by different it. teams. If neither team knew what the other team was doing. Well, they could have just said, Hey, you want a conquer reference in Banjo? And they yeah. said, Okay, that's probably, I'm not gonna that's probably what happened. Do you believe that yeah. it's all one universe? Let us know in the comments below. If you have any proof, please let us know because I am I'm excited <laughs> by this concept. And by excited I mean I fucking love fan theories. Sometimes they're interesting, but most of the time they're just hilariously um hilariously bad. Yes. I find the same universe theories interesting. I mean, there's one called the Tommy Westfall, even though that does go a little too far. If you haven't heard of it, it's theory that over 300 um, TV shows in the United States all take place in the same universe. I've not heard this. This is fascinating. That's genuinely uh, yes, fascinating. It starts with I Love Lucy in 1950-something, and it's still... There's still shows in the, you know, still shows in the universe being made today. Apparently. Big Bang Theory, How I Met Your Mother, um, <laughs> Friends. Well, they gotta make a reference to another show or something oh. in order for it to work. They can't just say, oh, we're in the universe. Yeah. Of course, I would be breaking the fourth wall anyway. Comedy shows are allowed to do that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a more interesting theory. Yeah, like go that. look it up when you're done watching this or when... We're done narrating it. Yeah, that's that's genuinely um just generally piqued my interest. Yeah. Oh, okay. so I won't More tell you how many game. times I had yeah, this game. Um so yeah, does anyone have any like particular particular comedy moments that they remember or that they remember seeing that stood out to them or that they always remember? I vaguely remember the um the when you die for the first time. Oh yeah, great. And the, the mm -hmm. Grim Reaper thing uh, sort of just comes out and swears and whatever <laughs> and just does his thing. But I don't remember the whole thing what he says, but I just remember being fascinated and amused by it. Unfortunately, um, we weren't uh, here for that episode. That was the second one. Yeah. But he that's all I remember really. Like I don't remember being too overly. You know, I didn't get any chuckles or laughs here and there, but I didn't really yeah. play it that much, so I didn't really give it a chance. Hey, wait, there's two, there's two lakes there, if you see that. Really? Did you notice that? Oh, I didn't. Yeah, there's two lakes around this, this tower. Hmm. There you go. Is the other lake a secret area? Yeah. Is, right, di is dickhead a word you guys use in America? It seems very like a I thought he said shithead. No, I thought he was saying dickhead. Oh, well, we use both. Dickhead. <laughs> yeah, we use both. Yeah, dickhead. We yeah. use dickhead a lot more than shithead. Dickhead just sounds yeah. funnier, I think. Oh, I yeah. I, I can't imagine Americans or any other sort of Canadian uh, countries saying dickhead without sounding... <laughs> Well, it's not just as a single person, it's someone who thinks with their dick, as in, they want sex over thinking rationally. Oh, no, yeah. dickhead here is just a uh, fucking yeah. spastic retard. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fucking dickhead! That's, that's how it's well, done. <laughs> yeah. Do something stupid, you're here. a dickhead. Yeah, retard's too offensive because they can't help being disabled, but dickheads probably can help being dickheads. I spent a long time on this fucking tower trying to. There's another edit there after I died. Oh, I died a lot of times in here. Did you have nine before? Did it, what happened? What? You, I, I thought you had nine at the beginning or something, and now it shows six. Yeah. You died a lot. Shh. Shh. 
Where's the show saying? Oh, oh, oh uh, every time, every time I die. No, I'm perfect. I'm ter perfectly happy admitting I fucking died a lot, and I edited that out, or else this would be as fucking long as the Conquer the King playthrough. Oh, are you supposed to be down here? Yeah, I got. Oh, funny was that the guys who made Conquer suck at their own game. It could just be that the game hasn't aged well. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, those too. enemies. They don't even suit the game. Why even put them in? I don't know. That was an afterthought. That was they just... look so out of place. It's not even funny. No matter yeah. where they show up, they don't even look like they're supposed to be there. Which is true anyway. They're not yeah. supposed to be there, are they? No, they weren't originally. That was dumped Stupid. in there later on. Yeah. Well, they, those oh. were here in the uh, Bad Fur Day version. The underwater ones, I think. Were they? Oh, were really? they mines originally? No, they, uh, they were just... Spiky imps, I guess. Oh. Mm. Alright, here comes my favorite joke in the whole game. It's so what beautiful. What was that? There's another one in there. There was originally there two in the background. Yeah, there was three. none. Yeah. yeah, there is three. I'm saying there's this <laughs> one. Oh, slotting <laughs> in. <laughs> oh, it never gets off. <laughs> How they got that past Nintendo? <laughs> <laughs> doesn't like it up the rear. I mean, he doesn't like oh, to give it up. Because, <laughs> you know, with her face looking like that, it's not suggestive at all, eh? No. Mm. That's one of those gags where Smile playing... like a donut, baby. <laughs> playing it as a kid, like, that was just like a... Oh, it's funny, because I don't get it. But now it's just like, <laughs> fuck, what? Genius. This is quite clever. The swimming, though, swimming is fucked in this game. And I yeah. Oh, you're Adam. What was your favorite like piece of comedy in the game? What do you remember the most? That's a good question. There's, uh, there's a lot, but well, don't, um, don't don't allot them. Just give us like top one or two. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think for a second. Well, while you're thinking, Jess, do you remember anything? Mm, there was that the flower. Lady. Oh yeah, um, yeah. That was always a bit of a um, bit of a classic back yeah. in the day. As a kid, that was very like. Oh, 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 oh. Did you jump yeah. on they, actually, well, like, they didn't put the nipples in this version, but they had nipples in the N64. That's pretty version. much like one of the only things. I, did the, the N64 version had nipples? Yeah. I don't even remember that. <laughs> you got a picture of that shit somewhere? <laughs> Oh, so that's a sexy flower. Just got oh stigmas God. like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, my favorite part is mostly the barn related stuff. Um, and uh, yes. the, w the caveman chapter is pretty funny too. Yeah, we'll some pretty, there's some pretty good stuff course. in the caveman chapter. And of course, the great lady poo. Yeah, it's fine. The Great Mighty Pooh is like something that I laughed at as a lot as a kid, but maybe I've just been, what, seen it too many times. I actually went into like a school like singing competition. It was like uh, Australian Idol, but just for the school. And I sang the Great Mighty Pooh song, and what? And I like won. Yeah. So they let you sing it uncensored. Sing. Yeah, I just decided like my friends were just like, hey, you know the song, the words to that song, get up there and sing it. And I did it all apparatic and stuff, because no one in the fucking school knew what the fuck it was. They just laughed at it because <laughs> it was about poo. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I was the poo guy for a while after that. <laughs> but that got tired fast. Oh, yeah. You know what else got tired fast? Cocker falls over in heaps of these cutscenes. And he does, and, but, and he never gets hurt. But then you play in the game, and he gets hurt all the fucking time. That's logic for you. Yeah, it's a cartoon slapstick logic. Sometimes you get hurt. Sometimes you don't, it just... Just because. Well, cookie crumbles. <laughs> That's just the way the cookie crumbles. It's true. I love this music too, but I think this is like my favorite track I've heard in this game. Just like how om Cook. ominous it is. Yeah. I love that. Not Mr. Big Cock, that's me, buggered. 
This is, this is I, I have a theory about this place right here. It was originally meant to be the windmill in 12 Tales. Because if you do see a video of 12 Tales, you can see Conker spinning, walking around that and trying to turn something just like here. So obviously they reused the code, but some of the walls also look similar too. And you can't go in the windmill in this game. Yeah, that's you what I was just thinking. Maybe they there. transplanted the, 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 windmi the windmill from that area to here. Yeah, because this, this place is kind of off in the distance from everything, now that you think of it. God, I wanted 12 Tales ROM so much. Well, if you're out there, and you have a 12 Tales ROM, then, uh, then send it to Adam. I'll pay you $1,000 for it, I'm not Whoa! kidding. Whoa! Welcome back, Jess. Oh. How yeah, good is the fast. internet? Oh, actually, this is leading up to something, too. Can we talk about the movie parodies in this game? Okay. The Matrix? Is that the one you're talking about? No, this one, well, there's the Matrix one. Um, Can you talk about the Jaws parody that happens after you... Yes, there's a Jaws parody in, uh, in, a, in uh, quite soon, and then there's also a Godzilla parody, like the American version. Oh, well. I, I do like that. There's there's the fucking passcode. You set it from wrong to right. That's quite funny. But yeah, a lot of the parody, the thing that I think has probably aged this game the most is the uh, definitely the parodies that are. I guess that's the parodies in general age everything quite a lot. Hmm. Yeah, and then over time you're gonna have people watch it who don't know that it is a parody and find it less funny. You should yeah. parody should be funny even though you don't know what the original source was. Yeah. A like airplane. Well, oh, Spaceballs. Spaceballs was funny regardless. Oh, sweet! Look at this sweet frame rate drop I randomly oh. had. How's that? Is that like two frames per second? That's... <laughs> Roughly. That was very exciting. Now you're playing with the yo-yo. Yep. Um, does he still play Killer Instinct on the Game Boy in this one? What? Uh, he used to have an idle animation where he played Killer Instinct on a Game Boy. Yeah, yeah. He still has that. He had uh, some Killer Instinct music, too. That was the best... Uh, a lot of people think that was the best bit of... Uh... Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts was the idle anim... Uh, the idle anim... Oh, when you pause it and the Battletoads music plays... Just forever. Wonderful. <laughs> the greatest composition out of Rare's entire catalog was definitely the Battletoads pause music. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many bytes of memory that is. Like, 20? 20, 20, 20, 20 whole bytes. I should make it my ringtone. That wouldn't annoy people at work. Well, actually, it probably wouldn't because no one ever rings me, so... Oh. <laughs> 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 This could be the worst part of the game. No, the second worst part of the game. Yeah, you haven't reached the saw blades yet. The witch bit? Oh, the saw blades. Yeah, that bit's also pretty bad. This part, you swim down here and it looks like this, and then you have to swim up another part that looks exactly identical, even after they changed it and cut out half of the fucking water segment. And I didn't know if... I, I'd swim up to where I was supposed to be, and I kept thinking I was swimming back up to where I started, because it looks exactly the same. <laughs> It's it well, you know, in the N64 version, I think they had the walls tinted a color, so you knew, like, you know, this is the green area, or the blue yeah, area. Yeah, these are still something. tinted, but the actual part where you swim up looks the same. The, the oh. actual part where you swim up isn't tinted, only the, the pipes leading there are tinted. Since we're okay, swimming, uh, let's... What's... if When you think of, like, swimming in a third-person, like, game like this, what's, every, what's the first thing that everyone comes to mind that actually, like, works well? Oh. If you had, you get any, pla water? any platform away you can swim, like what's the one that you remember not being mad at? When you get out of the water? No, when you are swimming. Um, Shit. One where swimming doesn't suck. I don't know. A lot of games do suck when it comes to swimming. I think the closest yeah. I can think of is probably Galaxy. Galaxy? Oh, yeah, or Super Mario 64. Yeah, or Super Mario 64 or... was nice and simple. Yeah. Um, what other uh, games had swimming? What about you, Jess? You remember uh, any? No, Donkey I really Kong? can't. I don't remember what the swimming in Donkey Kong 64 was like. 
It was kind it's of actually, annoying. It was kind of decent in my opinion, but then again, you didn't swim that much in that game anyway. Yeah, that's true. You didn't have to worry about air. I like that. I hate it when they make you worry about air. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Fuck about oxygen. Yeah. Should be able to breathe underwater, surely. Yeah. Andrew Kazooie's swimming controls were kind of stiff. But I would take stiff over con easy, you know, hard to control. Which this is. I just cut out like 20 minutes of just aimlessly swimming around. Holy shit. For you people at oh, home. Wow. Does this look familiar? It looks just like the part where I came in. So you're going really? up now, right? Yeah, I'm now I'm going up. See, maybe you could tell you're going up by the bubbles that are going up as well. No, maybe but I mean, I kept getting to that part because they all look, it all looks kind of the same. I kept getting to this oh. part and being like, oh, this is where I came in, so then I'd swim somewhere else. And then eventually I was just like, is this where I came in? And I ended up swimming up there and being like, oh, it wasn't. Uh, it would have been nice if there was like a big fucking arrow or something there. <laughs> this is like the one game yeah. you can get away with go chucking a big here. arrow on the side. <laughs> And text that reads, go up here. Idiot. Yeah, they could have put that in there and in this game it would have actually worked. But they didn't. Okay, so it looks like you took the right path. Eventually. Uh, it's funny how swimming in 2D games was fine. But for some reason, as soon as they took it into 3D... Oh yeah, 2D, more, of course. Things 2D, you got to consider, you got a whole new dimension. Yeah, but I guess they like they worked out navigating 3D environments on foot a lot quicker than they did swimming. Yeah, but swimming is more physics based. Than... Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. All I remember from the water sections in Donkey Kong 64 was that boss you fight as lanky when when you're in the boat. You have to swim that's through the little DK stars. You're in the boat, you're not underwater. Yeah, that's literally it. Oh, wait, there was a part where you got to be on guard, I think. Oh, he's smoking a joint, bro. Having some drink. Didn't expect that. Is that a joint? I thought it was just a cigar. Yeah. It's a oh, it is a joint. Nature. So, there you go. There is some drug humor in this game, everybody. Okay. This is my Finally. new favorite game. I've never seen this for the first time. <laughs> he's farting fire. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe... Yeah, he farted fire everywhere. That's great. The devils. What are they trying to say? People who smoke weed are fucking evil people. Are those the same no, species as <laughs> the uh, the other guys with the metal spheres around them? I don't know. I love that it sticks to join up his ass. That's wonderful. Why am I gonna play this? Oh. I don't know if that's official or name. I don't, I don't know either. Getting crunk. This is the first game I remember trying to walk around drunk in, and then it didn't happen again until, like, GTA came out. <laughs> oh, jeez. Piss pissing on things should be in more games. Yeah. This is great. This is yeah, the best thing I've ever one... seen. <laughs> <laughs> have one big bladder. Yeah, we well, did drink a fair bit. Yeah. I wish I had a bladder like that. <laughs> that would be nice. I bladders like the size of like tiny. Got a very small bladder, Just... unfortunately. Uh, he's got a good distance too. I mean, if I could piss that far, I would have been <laughs> like won so many like pissing competitions in school. Mm. That was always. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know what it was like in America, but we tried to see how far we could piss up the wall. Whoever could piss the highest one. Oh. So you pissed on a wall. Yeah, well, like above the urinals, you get the metal urinal tray and you try to shoot up up the over the top of the urinal tray up the wall so you can piss the highest. Oh, because they had did like watch each other piss. No, he didn't look at each other's dicks. He just looked because you were too busy right, looking look at, at how the high the piss went. Yeah. Look at him go. Oh, you did that one shot. Nice. And yeah, no, I've never been in a pissing competition. Well, you're missing out. Come to Australia, we'll sort you out. <laughs> Sure. Show me to your <laughs> unique culture. <laughs> National sport. Pissing. Oh, boss oh, time, is it? pissing. Is this a boss? Yes, there's another boss. Hmm. That's cool. This is a very unusual part, actually. He's a very strange character. I like it. I, I like, like this part so far. Yeah, it's quite good. It's quite creative. I like the style of the room and everything. Looks nice. I like the way his eyes move. So, was ever like one video game I think that it would like could be turned into a, into, oh. a, into a movie? Yeah, that's pretty wonderful. <laughs> Duke Nukem reference. 
<laughs> He's got balls of steel. Ah, oh, nicely played, Sean. I didn't even think yeah. of that. First thing I thought They're actually was... balls of brass. Yeah, that's, oh, it's, that's close, it's, it's close enough. Brass. I don't have any copyright issues coming into this. Nah. Oh, are you, what are you at? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is always quite, quite painful. I love how excited the demons are about you smashing his balls together with some bricks. It's like a thrill a minute over here. Well, you can hear them screaming my balls. Yeah. Or is that the boiler that's, screaming? That's the, ball, that's the boiler, because when your balls get crushed, well, your voice goes up a few octaves. That's the fire voice. That's... okay, well, same voice actor. <laughs> yeah, it's, mm. it is the same guy. You sound surprised, and then it all clicked all of a sudden. I don't know why I forgot that, but... Oh, these things happen, Adam. You can't be an expert all the time. Sometimes you <laughs> slip up. No, I, I I need to be known for my encyclopedic knowledge of Rare. That's true. Well, you're or... fired. I'm sorry, get out. You let the oh. team down. <laughs> I only know 98% of things, I'm sorry. I've yeah, still you, two, you, you might learn to 2% watching my amazing gameplay videos. Yes. Wouldn't that be something? Think of all the things you can learn. Watch you people at home. Let us know in the comments how much you've learned watching these amazing videos. Nothing. Yes, because these videos are so educational. That means we can do anything we want. Well, That's you know, if you're into like rare history, these have been pretty educational. It's probably the most second most educational videos I've ever seen about rare. <laughs> right after there's this 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 guy who did a he's been doing a big retrospective on uh, rare during the stamper days. Oh yeah, I, I saw that too. That's um, pretty well made. Is it all pretty accurate from what from what you know? Yeah. Wait, yeah. what was it? What did you uh, say it was? A retrospective. This guy's been taking it game by game through all of like rare's games from. I think it started with like the back when there were ultimate games, and then went through battle toads, and then the Donkey Kong oh. Country, and. Uh, now it's into the N64 days. Just a Jet Force. I think the okay. most recent one is Jet Force Andrew Gemini, Lee. isn't it? Oh, Jet Force. Okay. Yeah. Okay, maybe I didn't watch an episode. Yeah. <laughs> you get some weird. You get some annoying video glitches though, which is, annoys me. Annoying video glitches, like what? Like pictures, or like all of a sudden the picture will like pixelate heaps. Of it. It's really low res. Like, he's obviously he hasn't got much video editing experience. Oh. Like, his knowledge well, and actual yeah, voiceover are quite images, good, but his, so. his video itself is like... I wish he took what he recorded and gave it to someone else to cut together. Yeah. But the information itself is quite fascinating. Yeah, it, 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 he didn't just read it off Wikipedia. Like no, a lot he's, of he's written like a proper too. script. It's quite, quite good. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, wish yeah. I could remember who he was, because then I'd <laughs> plug him in here. But, sure, you uh, could easily look it up. Just, somehow. just look up Rareware retrospective, and it'll, the stamping years in the search thing, and it'll come up. Oh! Oh no! Did you notice the way the balls did don't not spin? Show up. Did you see that? The what happened? The baseball bat did not show up slash frying pan when he hit the balls. No, I he didn't. was hitting the balls with an invisible object. He was slapping them with his hands. No, oh, you could clearly oh. see that they weren't hitting them. Oh, you don't want to go that way. Oh, you <laughs> get it? Oh, dude. Yeah, this game's at its best when it's making poop and fart jokes. Which is kind of sad, but at the same time, kind of endearing. Because usually fruit and part fart jokes are like the bottom of the barrel. So the fact that that's the stuff that's still the best. <laughs> it's the stuff that's aged Start the best. Those jokes are timeless. <laughs> yeah. Fart jokes and poop jokes will be funny forever. That's but making true. fun of the <laughs> Matrix and whatever other movies won't. The first recorded joke in history is a fart joke. Really? Yeah. Where was that? Is it in Rome somewhere? I, I don't know, but something I read. Well, if you read it, then it's probably true. I believe you. Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I looked up something on Google once. Oh, ho. oh yeah. It's kind of something that did bother me is when the when you slap the balls off, they don't rotate, they don't spin while they're going through the air. They're just kind of like solid, flying. Yeah, yeah but you can roll them when they're on the ground. But you can roll them. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't do that. I guess. 
I don't know. <laughs> I guess because the reasons. That's it. You have to do this puzzle twice in the game too, which is kind of, kind of lame. Knock him over. Uh -oh. uh. He tried. Points are trying. <laughs> what do you Shut think up. about fart and poop jokes, Jess? Do you like fart and poop jokes? They're always great. <laughs> well, a girl says they're great, huh? Well, yeah, that's a sieve. What is hmm. If Jess likes them, then everyone has to like them because she's a girl. <laughs> she's speaking for girls everywhere. There's nothing quite as funny yeah. as sitting down at a fancy restaurant to a nice meal and then uh, farting. How dare you fart <laughs> and drop my when I was, you know. Why it's... do I feel like you're going to do that at some point? When I was like 10 or 11, I'd like <laughs> dial random phone numbers and just, just <laughs> make farting fart noises with... in the phone. Or no, just because. We've all been there. Ah, oh, oh, these catfish. These are interesting money. characters. They come back later on. Give us back our money, honey, and you'll get your It's funny stone. because they're what? cats. And they're also fish. <laughs> they're catfish. Well, when you put it like that... That's clever. Oh, look, it can't all be M-rated. They need some PG in here. Yeah, they need some really lame jokes here and there. Sometimes these things slip through. It's a visual gag, though. It's not like they're pulling your attention to it. That's true. It is a nice touch, though. They could have just I like the design of them. They're quite funny. I was watching a Pikmin 3 video today and there was like a giant fish that lived in the ground and it looked well fucked up. I don't know why I'm talking about Pikmin 3. <laughs> but look at a fish and I'm like, that was a fucked up looking fish. Now oh, here we go. We're building up to uh, two two movie parodies within the span of a couple of seconds of each other. Oh, see if we can guess them. Yep. Well, we've already talked yeah, about them, so it should be pretty earlier, easy. You'll be able to tell. I this I remember this on the 64 taking like one attempt, but here it took me quite a few because the game was fucked. I never swam when doing that. I just kept jumping while I was in yeah, the water. That's what I was doing originally, but then I kept getting like it kept bugging out and taking me to the bottom of the fucking water. Oh look, what was that? That's brutal. What is that? What is oh. that a reference to, everybody? That oh. was a reference to. Oh really? Are you serious? Alright, never mind, moving on. That was another one. From a from a, a movie that is nowhere near as good as the first one. And why the fuck anyone would reference it particularly oh. this moment is beyond me. 2001, it was still pretty dated. Yeah. There you go. Let's do movie parodies for you. If you know what the movie parodies were, let us know in the comments below. You yeah. win a prize. Oh, by the way, they were Godzilla and Jaws. Oh, oh Adam! Spoilers! Who would have figured that the earlier out? Earlier of the episode. I know. That was. Yeah. See if anyone was paying attention to that. That's right. Everyone gets. Yeah, a, I guess they didn't pay attention to what I just said. So everyone gets safe. a. Everyone oh, gets a B minus. Yeah. Sorry, How come? guys. How come when Conker puts the money with cigars in his pocket, his pants don't catch fire? Because it's a video game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is that why, or is there another reason? No, that's probably why. No. Well, thank you, Adam. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, mm -hmm. me, for coming through no this problem. adventure through the Bats Tower. Um, you know... It's getting quite interesting now it, as the game's it, getting it's on. A part, it's a part of the game. It's picking it, up a bit. It just picked it up a bit. It had that lovely, that lovely cog jokes. Unfortunately, yeah, there's right. nothing in the rest of the game that I find quite as amusing as that. But hey, oh. to each their own, and I'm sure there's other things in here that people find entertaining. So yeah. until next time, yeah. until next time, just next week, you just uh, stay classy, San Diego. Oh, <laughs> so no, that is a movie reference. Yeah. <laughs>